What's up, guys? Ron Singh over here. What up, guys? Ron Singh here. Oops, hold on a second. What is going on? How are you guys doing today? It's a great day so far. About to head out and um, head over to the coffee shop and get some work done. Um, it's funny because I usually change off off um, up where I uh, usually go in regards to working. Um, this is kind of just what I do. And I've been kind of going to the coffee shop as of recently to kind of get some work done. And guys, I've been just crunching out some crazy things that you guys just can't wait to see. Um, got lots of presentations, some uh, speaking uh, events, and some webinars. I'm going to definitely uh, keep you posted guys on about so that way you guys can get some more value and content from that everything too. But either way, one thing I want you guys to see, check out is my socks for the day. Where are they? There they go. Boom. Make sure your sock game is always on right. If not, your day's not going to get started on the right foot. No pun intended. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. But anywho, what I want to talk about today is um, title of this, this scope, you know, skip lines, but don't skip this. What I don't want you to skip is skipping the struggle. We spend too much time trying to find the easy way out in life when there is no easy way in regards to life. And actually, there is an easy way in life, but people that are making it are not taking the easy route. They're taking the hard route. So I want you to do the exact same thing too. If life is hard, I want you to live it hard and that way you can receive all the riches and rewards at the end of life. And that's what you got to keep on focusing about is too. Because look at it as though, I mean, put it this way. If you're watching this right now, even if you're watching the replay, it's because you are going to amount to some great things in your lifetime. There's 7 billion people in the world. I don't expect 7 billion people to even watch this Periscope. I don't even expect probably half of you know um, the people in the world to even know who I am. But then again, I don't expect everyone to be able to know the secret to success. Or actually, I really call it the truth of success because everyone knows about it, but no one's taking the action to do it. And one of the big things is you need to embrace the struggle and not try to skip it and not try to find the easy way out. Because that is what so many people are doing. And think about it. Just imagine if everyone was able to, um, you know, receive, be, be successful. You know, if everyone was successful, what would make it valuable? And that's, and that's what I'm asking you guys. What would make it valuable if everyone was to be successful? Because the way I look at it is the things of quality are, you know, quality is found in the rarity of things. So if few people can succeed, it makes it that much more rewarding. And that's how you got to look at it is there's not everyone's not not everyone's going to achieve and accomplish their goals. But I that's why I say once again, everyone that's on here right now, I see you guys being it because you guys are taking the action steps and being proactive and taking time out of your day to watch this. And it's almost like that short term, you know, pain leads that long term gain where you can spend this time doing anything. But you're here right now watching this and it's going to lead to some, um, you know, uh, rewards later on in life. But. Going back to um, <clears throat> just that, what I was saying, when you start embracing the struggle and not trying to avoid it, you're going to uh, receive the things that you truly want. But the first thing you got to know is what you want, because if you don't know what you want, you're going to get a lot of what you don't want. Or um, once again, being proactive, because if you're, you know, if you don't make things happen, things will happen to you. So one thing I've, I've learned a lot of this year, and 2015 has been a phenomenal year for me. It's been a great year for me in regards to personal development and personal growth. And I see next year being, you know, 2015 on steroids, where I see myself doing so much more and beyond what I could even imagine in, you know, earlier, you know, time of my life. But it's all a matter of just believing, you know, believing in yourself before you can see yourself doing it. And one of the best things to do is just kind of start acting as if you're already there and, and you know, doing the things that you truly want to do. And when I started doing that, I started noticing things. I was started attracting those things into my life, which made me realize, that, man, this, I can really do this. And I want the same thing uh, for you guys, too. But one thing I can definitely tell you as even through this, the whole all throughout 2015, Things happen that I didn't expect to happen. And, you know, that's just, once again, that's just a part of life. And it, it was stressful. It, you know, was a struggle. But you know what? I looked at it as, you know, if life is 
going to be hard, you might as well live it hard. And that's why I want you guys to kind of think of it the same way too. So there's no point in trying to skip the struggle. The struggle is here to come and it's here to stay. And it really is actually the best teacher for you too, where the obstacles, challenges, and the failures that you do get in life are going to do only one thing for you. And they're actually going to be helping you learn. They're going to actually help you sharpen your your, your tool and your toolbox and make you um, more skillful in what you're trying to do. Because if you've never failed in life, you got to look at it as you've never done anything important in life. So I want you to distract yourself from the unwanted things in life and, you know, stop making the unimportant things in your life important and start focusing on the things that are going to make you get from point A to point amazing. You know, like that made up last night. So um, one thing I also want, you know, you think about this too, is a lot of us don't achieve and accomplish certain things we want. It's because of we don't take action. Now, why is it that we don't take action? I would say that one of the biggest reasons why is because of fear. And fear is, guys, fear is self-imposed. Fear is, is what you make it. You know, no one's, you know, people can, you're influenced by the outside world, but you're more influenced by the inside world, meaning, you know, what you see, how you see yourself. And that's why, you know, one of the biggest deceptions that we face is our opinion of ourselves. And, you know, um, you know, African pro- proverb, like Les Brown talks about this quite a bit, is, um, you know, there's no enemy within, there's no, the enemy outside can do us no harm. And it's very true because the only person that can stop you from doing what you want to do in life and get into things that you want in life and being passionate about is you. So I want you guys to say, I am responsible for me because you truly are. And the key to your dream is going to be you taking the action, you put in fear aside. And what I want you to do is I want you to persist longer than fear is going to, you know, try to take you down. Because the way I look at my life, every day I wake up, you know, I I say something I'm grateful for. I get up, I look at my affirmations, I look at my vision board, my dream board, and then, you know, I one thing I started doing, which I learned from Eric Swanson, which I, I saw him speak not long ago, um, or actually it wasn't Eric Swanson, but I'll give him credit because he's a great speaker, but I'll just, I'll laugh as loud as I can, you know, and it's kind of funny too because, you know, at four or five o'clock in the morning, it sounds really awkward. I'm pretty sure everyone around me can probably hear me laugh, but you know what, it's not, I don't care about them, I care about me. It's a matter of me being self selfish, so that way I can be selfless. Um, <clears throat> and then I look in the mirror, and then I give myself a little pep talk, give myself a high five, you know, fist pump, give myself a kiss in the mirror, you know, weird crap like that. And I know it may sound foolish, but guess what? If you do things foolish enough, it becomes a habit, it becomes a norm, and it becomes part of your daily lifestyle. So you don't look at it as being awkward anymore. Um, and then you get you don't see around me, but I have walls covered with motivational you know quotes that I look at every single morning I have a notebook full of probably over a thousand quotes that I've written um, as the days years days months years and have gone by um, because motivation is something that needs to be done daily because every single day we're going through a battle of negativity that is just pounding away at our ego day in and day out and it's breaking us down. So what we need to do is treat motivation like bathing and it should be done daily Um, because if not, you will have um, the outcome of a stinky body or stinking thinking. And those are really words of, you know, uh, late Zig Ziglar. So I definitely have to give him props to that. Um, But anyways, back to what I was saying, you have to understand that Problems are going to be part of life, and problems are nothing but one thing. They're opportunities, and you, when you get those opportunities, take action on them, and it doesn't matter if it's not perfect action. Just take action. Don't hesitate. Just do it. Do it now. Do it where you stand. Do it with what you have, what you got, and um, where you are. If you can look at every single problem, every single situation that way, you will be able to solve every single one because look at yourself as being a problem solver. The great people in the world, great people, they, they build great monuments. They build, they, excuse me, I'm sorry. They build monuments after great people. They don't build monuments after losers. They don't build monuments after quitters. They don't build monuments after people who haven't done anything in their lifetime. If you want to be someone that can contribute to the world, they will build a monument for you. That is one of the best rewards that you can possibly get. But you have to do something worth it. All right? So I want you guys to think about what you can do 
And once again, you got to know what you want, what you want. If you don't know what you want, you can get a lot of what you don't want. Know what you want, start with there. And when you figure out what you want, then focus on it every single day. And then you will figure out what you need to do to make it come to life. All right? Because thoughts are things. So keep that in mind, guys. Drawn saying here, no one before me or after me match my hustle, my grind, my mentality, or my passion. Because I'm a really just like you. You guys have a successful day. I look forward to seeing you guys um, doing some great things in your lifetime because I believe in you and you deserve it. Key to your dream is you. Go get it.